Hi friends, all of you, welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have learned about a trigger, definition of trigger, and all those things. Today, we are, we are going to see the examples of trigger. So, today, we are going to learn about DML triggers actually. Okay, so as I have told you in, la in my last tutorial, that insert, uh, update, and delete, all those are DML uh, triggers. So, today, we are going to see the examples of all those things. Okay, so for that, we have to create a table first. So, I'm going to create a table called example, which is having, you know, uh, two columns name and city which both are of varchar type having size is 100 so let's create this table first let me create this in our sql workshop so i'm going to copy it and paste in our sql workshop and run this query so as you can see we, we our table got created here okay let's jump to sublime text okay so what i'm gonna do here our first example we are taking as a, a trigger before insert this is example of before insert okay so what we are going to do here we are going to create a trigger which will get fired before inserting data into our table okay so what what is the uh, process to write the thing create or replace trigger this is our trigger name you can write anything but we usually you know a good practice to write the trigger is bi underscore your table name bi stands for before insert underscore your table name okay then uh, the keyword before insert on the table example for each row if you're uh, we will we can write here enable as well but if you're not not writing anything it means that by default it will get enabled okay and the begin section declare is our uh, you know optional section section so we i'm gonna skip that section i just have written begin and what i'm doing here i'm taking uh output from the server dbms underscore output dot put underscore line inserted into table i'm just taking output from the server something like this okay so here we have uh, created a trigger we are going to create a trigger before insert trigger which will get fired before inserting any data into the table our table is example okay so let's run this query copy it and paste in our sql workshop delete this control v and run this query okay so as you can see our table got created now let's see uh, how you know we can use this trigger so i'm going to insert data into our table so we'll write insert into example we have two columns name and city and uh, i'm going to write here values then the you know uh, name will be mark and city will be bangalore and then run this query so as you can see one row is inserted before that we got data we got output as inserted into table and this is the same output what we have written here okay so hope this example is clear to you okay let's jump to sublime text and see another example here i'm going to i have written example of before update actually okay so what we are going to do here we are going to uh, going to create a trigger which will get executed before updating any data into our table okay so what the process to write the uh, trigger is same instead of before insert we will write here before update on table example okay for each row begin and the same thing what we, uh, we are doing here updating the uh, we are getting output as updated the table and this will get fired before updating any data of the table okay so i'm copying it and pasting it in our sql workshop control v and run this query in trigger created so but this trigger will get fired only when we will update any data so we are going to i'm going to write update query actually so update example set uh, what i'm going to do here i'm going to do a city is equal to is delhi actually city delhi where uh, just leave the where clause for now actually we are studying about trigger so focus on trigger okay so when i'm run this when i'm going to run this query uh, we will get output as updated the table okay let's run this so as you can see we got the uh, output as updated the table this output we got from trigger actually okay because we have created a trigger before up update trigger so whenever we will update any data this trigger will get fired and we will get whatever we have done here we will get the thing okay let's run the sublime text and see another example example three this i have this example is like before delete example before delete trigger okay so this trigger will get fired when we will delete any data from the table and the process to write the trigger is same we will write create or replace trigger this is our trigger name 
you know bd underscore example bd is like before delete and we are writing before delete on example this is our table name for each row begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line deleted from table so we will get this output whenever we will delete any data from the table okay so let's run this query copy it and paste it in our sql workshop i'm going to paste it here Control v and uh, run this query so we got uh, the trigger got compiled now we'll delete uh, now we'll run delete command so i'm going to write delete from example and run this query so we got the output as deleted from table okay so this is how trigger work actually i hope the concept and examples are clear to you so what we are doing here we are uh, we have created three triggers three triggers one is like before insert second one is like uh, before update and third one is before delete okay so all these things will run one by one but uh, i have taken here force example as what if what we if we want to you know we know that we are going to create a trigger on before insert and update and delete so here we can create a trigger which will work which is like a single trigger which will work for hold the thing for all three commands whether we are updating or inserting or deleting so what we can write how we can write the trigger actually is create or replace trigger a trigger name here i have write biud means before insert update delete underscore your exam, uh, your table name then before insert or update or delete on example all three things we have written here at the same time actually okay for each row begin and here I have written a if block actually if inserting then get this line if updating else if updating then get this line else if deleting then get this line and if the and the if block actually okay and then end the block and the create and complete thing so we can run this uh, you know uh, we can create this trigger and this trigger will work as the same what are we will be doing uh, you know you know using last three triggers okay so I'm going to create this trigger before that we will delete all three triggers what we have created just now because you know this last trigger will work for all three simultaneously so i'm going to drop trigger bi example let me write this drop command here drop trigger bi example and sorry delete these unnecessary lines run this query sorry trigger two times i have written Now drop trigger bu example and then drop trigger bd example. Then uh, you know yeah we have dropped all three triggers. Now we will uh, create our trigger. Control V. So this is our you know the trigger the fourth example which will work for when we will insert data or update data or delete data. Okay. So let's run this query. Invalid. Okay, I have not taken the above line. Let's run this query. So trigger got created. Okay. Now what we will do? We will try to insert any data in our table. So we have the same value. We have written our insert query here. Let me run this query. Inserted as we as you as you can see, we got the data. Uh, we got the output as inserted because we have written if inserting, then get this value. Okay. Now we'll try to update the data, uh, the data of the table. So as you can see, we got the output as updated because we have you know run the we have written this when updating, then we'll get this output. Okay, and now delete from the, uh, example table. As you can see, we got the data as deleted. So hope the example and uh, you know concept is clear to you. For any doubt or confusion, let me know in comment box, and don't forget to subscribe the channel and please. Uh, share the video and like the video. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Thank you very much